in effect I've got a skin here on the back side of the mosaic that's going to fit to there I put another sheet of mesh and some adhesive so that's helping to keep it more stable because I've had a few problems with the test coming off because of the um, moisture absorption of the um, adhesive between the cling film and the glass and possibly I could have left it another day or two to cure and I'm quite impatient so I've trapped it in effect like a pancake between the two so I can manoeuvre it onto here so now I just need to do a lot of smoothing and um, feeling and seeing with my hands really I've removed this very carefully from the top surface because it was quite wet by the time I'd finished um, pressing the thing down and using a wet cloth o over that and uh, so I've taken that away very carefully and I'm slowly cleaning this up there's a clean, it's not too bad this side clean area there um, because the adhesive is still wet underneath um, again it's holding areas down securing them with your fingers and, and picking away to clean it up um, I've also cleaned up the edges uh, left the spare mesh that was on there because it'll help to strengthen up the bowl and re-registered my fixing points with sticks um, carving those down that's left me a nice countersink point for putting some seawall pebbles in I actually took a bit of glass away from the edge because I think that will make a lovely transition between the glass mosaic and the slate rim now some of the slate rim is going to hit the glass but there are there will be deficits where there's a few pebbles so I think that's quite a nice watery theme now it probably yeah you know, begs the question why I'm fiddling about like this while it's wet and um, you know, not just kind of just doing it leaving it drying it cleaning it up and grouting it well again like I said before it's different layers of glass different thicknesses of glass which is um, why I've used the reverse technique and also this cleaning up business now this white adhesive once it's set it is rock hard and uh, if I allow it to come up through all these hand cut pieces of glass all the little microscopic sort of chips and pore holes and things it sticks in there and it is an absolute a nightmare to get out I, I can do it with a wire brush but um, there's some iridized surfaces I don't want to ruin and I don't want to risk any sc scratches on this particular piece I mean some of my pieces are so rugged it doesn't matter if they've got scratches and things on but this needs to stay as clean as possible so that, yeah that's the reason I've chosen this method and also while this is still wet I can uh, make some little alterations pick odd, odd pieces of tesserae out and perhaps change colors I mean I've put a couple of blue, more blue speckles in and altered the edge a little bit 